Well, welcome back to Rick in the Corner. This is Rick, and that's the corner. This is a special edition of Rick in the Corner. For all of you vets out there, thank you so much. This is Veterans Day 2013. And I just want to say hi and thank you to all of the veterans out there. Now this episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try to scrunch up all of the new segments that I found and see if we can make it a little bit shorter. First news story of the of the episode is judge tosses prostitution charges over woman's clothes. Yeah, let's see how this pans out, right? So Felicia McGinnis, 26, was arrested in the early hours uh, after police saw her talking to passer, passersby on the sidewalk in Manhattan's Midtown area and charged with loitering for the purposes of prostitution. Police noted that she was wearing a black pea coat, and if you don't know what that is, there's a picture for you. Not provocative at all, at all, in my standards, I guess. And she was also wearing skinny jeans and platform shoes. Now platform shoes, uh, okay, I can get that, but really skinny jeans and that coat, really? So the judge also slammed the police officer for noting that McGinnon's pants were revealing because they outlined her legs. Don't all pants do that? Ugh. So the characterization of the jeans as revealing because they outlined the defendant's legs seemed more to be expected in the dress code of a 1950s high school than a criminal court pleading. That's what the judge said. Granted, this incident occurred in the middle of winter. Uh, okay. However, a pea coat is still a standard issue to members of the U.S. Navy, and blue jeans, skin tight or baggy, are practically an American icon. So, all you U.S. Navy guys and women, apparently, be careful about that pea coat. You might be charged with prostitution. All right, second story is thief steals 140,000 pounds of walnuts. In Escalon, California, authorities are trying to crack the case of a th nut thief who made off with 140,000 pounds of walnuts. The theft, estimated at nearly $400,000, occurred Sunday in the small Central Valley town of Escalon. Investigators say it was one of the biggest to hit the booming industry. Last month, about 12,000 pounds of walnuts worth about $50,000 were stolen from a trailer parked on Highway 99 north of San Francisco. So far, the net cases that stole the walnuts have not been caught and authorities are still trying to crack the case. All right, story number three. Three? Three. Story number three is workers paint street lines over a pile of brush. In Memphis, Tennessee, a city road crew is under fire after what happens to be a lazy street painting job according to the video from WMC. The crew failed to move a brush pile before painting lines on the street and just painting over the pile instead. Why? Why would you do that? Just take a brush and, or a broom, a brush, <laughs> take a broom and take it off of the street and then paint your freaking line, right? No, that's not what they did. They just painted right over the pile. Some people call it a waste of tax dollars. Well, yeah, I would, I would tend to agree with that. They need to send somebody out to move the leaves and repaint it. Sent a Memphian named Fred Roy. Well, okay. Well, city officials say that the engineering division is looking into the problem and they should have a solution soon. Did they forget about the brooms in the closet? Maybe in the back of the freaking truck, 
where the workers had in the first place. Well, that's all I got for you. I hope it's short enough for you. Try to cram and make it a little bit sweeter of a video to watch. Let me know what you think. Comment below and uh, go ahead and fly over to YouTube. Subscribe so you get every single episode of Rick in the Corner for your enjoyment. Thank you. And again, wish all veterans a happy Veterans Day. And if you're not a veteran, just wish them well. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day and a better tomorrow.